entertaining. <laughs> I don't care. I hope you'll laugh at some of mine, cause. <laughs> Every time I read this freaking series, I'm like, I need to read classics right now. Yeah. You really <laughs> thought you were gonna have your classics phase. <laughs> you read The Great Gatsby too. That is true. Oh, I read The Great I Gatsby. I vaguely remember that. You went out and bought so many <laughs> classics and then you never no, picked No, I'll get back into them. I'll get back into them. <laughs> you never picked Stop them. Stop calling me out. <laughs> I'm just proving that I watch your videos. That's all, Katie. <laughs> Horses in this book, like this series, they're so funny. Tug, Tug is, is my so favorite. funny. He literally, John Flanagan, that's his favorite character to write, is the literal horse. The first four, I mean, you could just watch my video where I explain how to read Rangers for this, but the first four, I already have. <laughs> the first four are like its own arc, and then you have to read book seven after book four. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a kind of like a weekend reading vlog just because I didn't start this at the beginning of the week and Fritz is coming over here. Come here. <laughs> she hates it when I do this. Sorry Fritz. In my defense she came to me but not the point. First I thought I would talk about the footage that is before this clip because I met up with Cass on Wednesday I think it was and it was so Fun. I'm so glad that I got to meet her in person. It was just such a nice day and I'm so sad it's over but I did want to show you the annotated book that um, ooh, that she did for me because I annotated Ranger's Apprentice, the first book in that series because it's her favorite series. So obviously she picked a book out of the Mortal... no, not the Mortal Instruments. The Inferno Devices to annotate for me and she chose Clockwork Prince. Now I have two editions of this one which I'm not complaining about because gems on the cover but i did want to show you the lovely drawing that she did on the title page look at the clockwork i almost called this the clockwork prince i'm obsessed with this and if it wasn't like in the book i would rip this out and put it on my wall but that feels wrong but it's so cool and i'm just so glad that we did this it was so fun yeah i just want to show you guys that because she is so talented um anyway that was such a good time and I hope we can meet again soon because it was it was just so nice anyway not the point um well i mean it is the point but i'm gonna get into the reading plans now i meant to read this book in my last vlog and then i started slacking towards the end of my last vlog so hopefully i can get to it in this vlog and that is love sickness by junji ito the most exciting thing that i'm really planning to read in this vlog is continuing a series that i think a lot of you are going to be excited about me continuing and that is me reading air of fire the third book in the throne of glass series after i finished crown of midnight i was so excited <laughs> to hop into the rest of the series because the end of crown of midnight was kind of explosive but then i made the mistake of reading the assassin's blade during my 48 hour readathon and that book was okay but i didn't really like it that much and it kind of turned me off from continuing the series at that point but i'm gonna continue it now just because i know so much stuff goes down in this book but thankfully i don't know what any of the stuff is so i hopefully i'm gonna be able to finish this this weekend i've had a hold on the audiobook for this for like 
six weeks or something and it finally came in a couple of days ago so i figured this would be the perfect time to attempt to read this book i'm excited to see how the weekend reading goes i don't know so yeah um i don't really have any like plans for the day naturally i never have any plans i think i'm going to prioritize air of fire for today get a good start see where we can get with it because i am very excited to see what happens next. So yeah, I'm going to make lunch. Then I'm gonna read this and I'll update you when that happens. read just a little bit of air fire i'm literally on page 14 and a i'm actually excited to be back in this world every time i like start reading one of these books again because the same thing happened with crown of midnight i was like you know i kind of miss being here which surprises me but the main thing that i'm excited about that just happened is that there's this guy who showed up and I like am pretty sure I know who this guy is and I am so excited because I've been waiting for this guy um, to show up in this series because he is who I assumed to be one of the main characters but he wasn't in the first few. I'm just excited because the description of him matches what I think I've seen as far as like Throne of Glass fan art goes because if you just exist in the book community it is so hard not to see fan art of throne of glass characters so i have like these people in my mind but i haven't like met them yet so exciting times that's literally it i'm just i'm just excited i'm so excited to read this book right now so very happy about that okay so it is later and i've made it up to page 90 of air of fire and i really don't think i'm gonna have an issue finishing this book this weekend just because i'm having such a good time already <laughs> i don't really know how to talk about this book in a way that won't be spoilery because it's like the third book in the series so i'm gonna talk about it vaguely don't you worry we'll not be spoiling things tonight but so far in this 90 pages it has set up with the plot for this book specifically is going to be i'm really excited about it because there are things that i know about certain characters and certain character relationships and i'm really excited to see the dynamic of that develop over what like the situation is in this book if that makes sense we also met another character that i've seen a bunch of fan art for and i've heard things about and like not specific things about them so i'm excited that i'm finally seeing the characters that i thought i was going to be seeing in this series the magic system it seems is also very similar to the magic system in akatari which i'm also very excited about just because it's cool this book is kind of dealing with a couple different perspectives and some of them I am more interested to read about than others, we'll leave it at that, but overall it's just been a good time so far and I'm so excited that I decided to pick up this book this weekend. So I'm going to read a bunch of this tonight just because I really want to continue reading this book, obviously, <laughs> and I will talk to you guys tomorrow with a reading update. Saturday morning and I've read about 30 pages of Air of Fire so far today so I'm up to page 211 now which is making really good progress with this book which I'm very happy about. I am enjoying the book and something like kind of big happened last night that I think is setting the groundwork for something and I have some other theories in my head which I will not share because I don't want to like spoil things again so i'm gonna keep those to myself but i have ideas i do have ideas but i really like reading from selena's pov but there's this other one that i really 
don't care about and it's like kind of interesting but at the same time i don't really like any of the people in that pov so like i don't know maybe i will like it more as the book goes on but right now i don't really care that much about it but the other two povs i am very interested in and i want to read more about those so that's gonna keep me going and i'm excited to see where the book goes from here i just i just want to see more development in one certain relationship and i don't know if that's going to happen in this book or not so we will see anyway for the rest of the day i'm gonna read some more of air fire and i'm really hoping that i can start love sickness today just because i don't have this hold for that much longer and i need to return it to the library so i need to start reading it soon but i don't want to start reading it right now because i'm like into air fire so that's kind of the plan for today we'll see how it goes all right so it is later and i've officially made it halfway through air of fire and i don't really know if anything like that big or important has really happened since the last time i talked to you i feel like it's pretty slow moving which i don't mind but i don't know how much to talk about <laughs> so i'm gonna take a break on this for now and i'm going to start reading love sickness i feel like i should be able to finish this today um we will see though i make i make no promises <laughs> sickness this morning and i managed to finish like the main story love sickness and i really enjoyed it i'd probably give it like a 4.5 or 5 stars if i was like gonna rate them individually but i thought it was really good this is probably like my favorite junji ito story that i've read thus far so that's very exciting and i only have like a little bit less than half of the book to finish it so I'm gonna read that later today for sure but i also have my update for air of fire i made it to what's page so i managed to make it to page 353 last night which is i think like two thirds of the way through the book this thing is so annoying sometimes and i made it up to part two which is good as well so really hoping i can finish this today i think it's doable i've been going for like a third of the book each day so this should like it should work out i honestly do i remember what happened in the pages that i read last night i really like the development that's happening in selena's pov and i really like the plot of like how her story in this book is going so uh yeah those are my thoughts on air of fire thus far we're gonna finish it today i'm putting it out into the world that's my goal that's right folks we're setting a goal so i think i'm going to go outside and read for a little bit just because it's like a somewhat nice day outside meaning it's not like 80 already so let's see what the temperature is 73 and it ain't great but it's gonna rain later so i don't think it's like super hot right now so i'm going to um go outside for once in my life read this book i probably won't last too long but we'll see how it goes <laughs>
Um, I am back um, from the outside. The out what? The outside? Who says that? I am back from my outside reading. I didn't last very long, um, shockingly enough. Although I think I read like 20 pages, so we'll take that because those 20 pages... Ooh, literally like these 20 pages contained my absolute favorite trope like more than enemies to lovers i think even more than the one bed trope and it's the trope where one person has to take care of the other and it's just so good it's just so good um i will not elaborate any further though <laughs> it was good though anyway i'm gonna go to lunch now and when i get back i'm going to hop back into air fire which i'm so excited to read more of sarah j mass is really doing what she does best and that is writing relationships and it is really really keeping me enthralled so um yeah i'm excited to read more later all right again it is later and i have the final update for air of fire because i am currently on page 470 which means i have less than 100 pages which means i'm going to be finishing it like right now <laughs> well i mean like not right now right now but like in this sitting it will be finished so I have really been enjoying these last like 100 pages maybe since I last updated you because A, we're solely focusing on Selena's POV right now because something rather large <laughs> is happening and it's kind of stressing me out but it's really interesting because it's forcing Selena to like recount her past and like the night that her parents died and it's fascinating because obviously the story has been told but not in this much depth. You hear about what happened like the night before everything went down and like you're figuring out why it happened and it's just very very fascinating not what i was expecting even though i feel like i should have put it together but i really did not big things are happening big things are still happening and i'm very excited to read the rest of this book literally the last chapter that i read i was like gonna tear up or something it was making me sad that's what's been happening thus far it is so good I'm having a good time so I'm gonna finish this up tonight and I will talk to you about it tomorrow and hopefully I can finish lovesickness tonight I should be able to it's only like eight so I got some time and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning so I know I said I wasn't gonna talk to you guys until tomorrow but I just finished air fire and I have many feelings I'm feeling many things um I'm sad I am concerned i am excited for the rest of the series but also i'm stressed out about the rest of the series but i do know that the rest of the series is going to be great like i can just tell i am so excited to see where the rest of the series goes because this was good Okay, everybody i have now finished both of the books i was planning to read in this vlog it is the next day so we're just gonna wrap things up here first of all i finished air of fire last night and wow <laughs> i love this book a lot i thought it was really good i really like the direction that this series is taking and i'm so excited to read more of it i like that this book is giving selena like some depth and it's not just like her being angry at the world 24 7 but you're getting a lot of like flashbacks and background information and it was just very oh it was so good i loved reading about those parts if i was just gonna base my rating off of her pov alone it would be an easy five stars i loved her story i loved all the characters in it especially the other main person that was in her pov i loved them so much i'm so excited to see more of them in the series and yes yes to selena's pov there's just this other pov that i don't really understand like i'm sure everything is going to you know come together at some point and we're gonna see why all three of these povs were used in this book but it kind of just felt like out of place and every time that this person's pov would come up i'd be like "Ugh, really again i just don't like them that much like i'm sure my opinion will change once i get to know them more i feel like i'm already seeing some hopeful character development but they were just kind of they were just so mean all the time. I feel like so many things were revealed and you know, the puzzle pieces are starting to click together, but we're still only halfway through the series now. 
I have four more books and I'm so excited to pick up Queen of Shadows soon. Hopefully very soon. So yes, four stars for Air of Fire. Definitely my favorite one out of the series so far. So good stuff. And then I also finished Love Sickness, which I'm also going to give a four stars just because I loved like the story Love Sickness a lot. I thought it was so cool. Also kind of fine, but that's not the point. Um, I just thought it was really interesting and I liked the way it wrapped up. It was good, but the other stories in this I didn't really like that much. I'm not even going to talk about the last story in this like collection because it is unbelievably stupid and I'm just going to choose to ignore it because it's only like four pages. But even the other like main plot line in here that had a couple of stories that went along with it, I didn't really like that much. I kind of liked, what was it? the rib woman just because it was it was odd but in an in a very intriguing way but love sickness was so good and that's why i'm giving it a four stars so there's the weekend reading i'm really glad i finally got to both of these books i thought you know for the most part they were both really good anyway that is the end of the vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed i love filming vlogs reading the throne of glass series just because i feel like so many people have read it and we can talk about it in the comments and i just love doing that so please talk to me about the throne of glass series in the comments i would love to know what your favorite book in the throne of glass series is if you've read it just so i can you know know what to look forward to or maybe i've already read it and i'd love to hear why i'll if i haven't read it though please don't tell me why but I just, I think that'll be fun. If you have not read the Throne of Glass series, just tell me what you guys are reading at the moment. I also love to know that. I love responding to your comments. It's like my favorite thing ever. So yes, I will see you guys in my next vid.